Hey, out me old mucker, it's your pal Mark from Game Busters UK. Bringing Friday Night Magic back. Uh, if this is up, actually uploaded on a Friday, then boom, I am on top four. If it's uploaded on any other day, then... Oh dear. Well, it's been about a year. It's been about a year, me old mucker, since I last played this game on the channel. And since then, I have actually beaten the game. Played a lot of it in my spare time. Actually really got into it. Um, which is great, because I've never really been a massive fan of Magic the Gathering. But since playing this, I have become a fan, quite simply put. I even have my own Magic the Gathering deck. I actually kind of understand the rules, even though I would still say I'm pretty terrible at the game. But, yeah. So we're going to carry on Friday Night Magic. We're going to still methodically go through the campaign, even though I've already done it in my spare time. But let's continue. I believe we beat the Ghoul Cooler after numerous attempts of her kicking my ass. Cursed Existence was a pain in the ass, but I beat her. And now let's play, f uh, play, f let's play Feast of Flesh. <laughs> if I remember correctly, she's like a vampire deck person. Yeah. And I will point out I'm using a black and red vampire themed deck. So. Yeah, a lot of changes have happened uh, as you uh, watched Friday Night Magic. Um, and by watched Friday Night Magic, I mean, well, nobody really watches it because this whole series has got like, what, 20 views all in total? But I don't care, I enjoy playing this, so I'm going to continue making the series. But yeah, about a year has passed since uh, the last, last time I did this. It's about September, or it's before we went to EGX in 2014, so ages ago. You, ages ago. Right, I can almost summon my rakish air. Yeah, vampires, all about vampires this day, and a few uh, black monsters just thrown in there, because why not? Oh, still got the old cold that you may notice from my Minecraft series. Yeah, 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 you could summon that. Child of Night. Child of Night. I actually run a couple of those in my real life deck. So, there you go. There you go, me old mucker. It's all swings and roundabouts. Right, it's a 2-2. Two -two. So, I'll play a rake share. I won't block though because I don't want him to die. I need to get Shieldred. Shieldred Whispering One. She's pretty badass. Lightning well, Talents as well. Shieldred the Whispering One. She's like sort of like a boss monster that you'd, that you'd fight in uh, God of War or something. Something like something in the underworld or something. Oh god, no. Yeah, I'll take the hit. I'll take the hit like a man. Take a little saucy vampire bite any day. Any day of the week. Saucy little vampire. Ah, oh, she's got one as well. Of course she is. It's got a dangerous effect, so I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to uh, up my game a little bit. I'm getting a bit uh, mana screwed here. All right, we'll get another swamp down, and we will play Lightning Talons, Enchant my Rakish Air. Gets first strike. He can't. She can't block with the Child of Night, so I'm good to attack her. If she blocks with Rakish Air, then he'll die, which is fine by me. Ah, oh, shit, I've just realised I'm going to take a couple of hits next turn, so they're going to get counters, aren't they, from Rakish Air? Yeah. It's a good card to run in any sort of red. Any, any vampire deck, really. If you get them hits in nice and early, you could get quite a few. Uh, Counters on your monsters, which is why I run it. I 
story, and I thought, oh, that's really cool. So vampires, yeah, I'm a massive fan of vampires. Really like vampires. I did my um, honors degree in English, and I did my dissertation on vampires. That's how much I love vampires. I wrote about Dracula and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and even Twilight. Would you believe it? About all the different types of vampires. So this is really. I really love vampires. Just especially like. Oh, I love this card art, Blood Craze Neo Neonate. I run four of this in my real life deck. That card art is my favourite Magic the Gathering card art. My second favourite is Wake Dancer. Um, yeah, let's play a... Uh, first of all, let's play a Mountain. Then next turn we'll get Shieldred out. The only downside to her is once... If you play a mid-game... She's probably going to die because she has to attack whenever able. But the good news is, whenever she deals combat damage, she gets a plus one, plus one counter. These two together mean counters galore, baby. Counters galore. Hopefully, in theory. Uh, may as well smash and grab while we can. What does Barony Vampire do? Uh, nothing, it's just an ordinary vampire. Right, yeah, let's attack. Right, man, I do have to be very careful with my next go because I'm going to take a lot of hits. I'm going to take at least nine damage next turn. Actually, no, I'm going to take. I am going to take 11 points of damage, I think. Falkreef Nurble. Flying Vampire, that's going to be a pain in the ass. I might actually lose this one. It's because I've been a bit reckless. A little bit reckless. That's alright though, isn't it? You can afford me a bit more reckless sometimes. God, I, have, I swear, all day I've been fine. And now all of a sudden, in the evening, I've got like... Bloody sinus problems. Full of snot. Full of bloody snot. This cold just will not leave me alone. Right, I'm gonna take the hits like a man. Oh lord. Oh shit. Right, so they're all gonna get counters. Yeah. Shit, I have to win this turn basically. I don't think I can do it. I'm fairly certain I can't do it. It's a bit shit. Two. I can't even play Shieldred. Fuck. Fuck. Um. Well, I'm gonna take at least six points of damage next turn anyway, so. Bugger it. rematch and then we'll see if we can win. This isn't the deck that I beat the game with, by the way. I beat the game with a white deck. Pure white deck. What? What does that do? Hang on. Okay. Well and truly lost. It's alright, but I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play your cards. Yeah. I've lost. I've lost. You know, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, another vampire. Lovely. Got more vampires than a bargain. Always the way. 
I say I need I needed like a sort of I needed Buffy the Vampire Slayer in card form, but then I remembered there is like one that is I think they did actually make one because Magic the Gathering sometimes there's like cards that are based on like popular culture or sometimes like other fantasy type stuff. I think there is like there's a girl with a stake, and I think like the card art is quite obviously based on uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's a very early card though, very early magic card. I'll keep this hand. May regret it. We'll see if we can win. I'm gonna try and keep this series as uh, regular as possible, basically. I really like the uh, little dice that, that people use as life counters in uh, real real life games of magic. If like it's, it's like a 20 sided dice. D20 I believe it's called. I don't know, I don't play Dungeons and Dragons, I don't know what the different dice are all called. Right, I'm gonna play. God crazy the 8 Because I need her to be on the field to get maximum usage out of her as early as possible. Because as soon as he puts down a monster, he's just going to have to run through it. Need to get her pumped up as quick as possible. That's not going to happen because blood flow connoisseur. Alright, he won't be able. She won't be able to get a counter on it. She won't be able to put a counter on it. But that's besides the point. Really. Draz Vampire. Very low cost, just one swap. But uh, she gets a nice boost as well as long as the opponent has uh, 10 or less life. Uh, a couple of her out actually. Quite, quite nice. Three monsters. Blood Craze Neonate heads to attack. I need to figure out a strategy of how I can like, utilize Blood Craze Neonate a lot better. Because at the moment she's. You know, it's, You need her turn one really. But, I mean, she's. Well. Yeah, two. Two mana cost. One red, one. one color, any other color. Oh, yeah, I knew she'd have one. I just love that card art. That is. It's just. So cool. one anyway but it's a tactical decision because she has to block at least one of them which means one of the vampires will die but I don't care at least, at least one's gonna get uh, counters yeah get another two two twos on the field plus I can get my grave back just by tapping uh, the elixir over here Stormcat Patrol. Very good. Uh, very good. Vampire yeah. Soldiers. 
Hey, child of night. Just got a life. Don't want to take the hit. Because he'll get a counter. Yeah, my monsters will die, but whatever. 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 Feast on the Fallen. That's good. Quite cost effective as well. Free magic. Uh, free mana. Sorry. This is gonna cause. every turn, basically, until the opponent is something that can, is monsters that at least equal five, like block and killing. So, might be in a bit of a precarious position here. Basically, I need to get another monster next turn. I've drawn Sheldrick, both games, really early, which is no good, no good to me, just sitting in my hand. I need to get her out. If I can get her out, then all sorts of trouble, but at the moment, nothing doing. Still not seven, is it? Still not seven. And you can only block with her, so at least guarantee the attack. Go for it. Terry will probably be a little bit more entertaining when I'm not ill, you know. Because I do like my videos to at least be fun, but it's a mixture of uh, tactical thinking, you know, when you have to put your thinking face on and then you forget, oh hey, I should, I should be trying to be an entertaining commentator. But, um, Things haven't gone, haven't quite gone my way. We still get shouldered out. Right. At least, at least my grave is pretty stacked. <laughs> That's all I can say. At least my grave is pretty stacked. If 
I get first strike? Beginning of each opponent's upkeep. I thought it applied to me. Oh, yeah, that's pretty damn good. I misread that. So, at, the, at every opponent's turn, they have to dis destroy a creature. So, I said, I said I'd cause trouble if I could get Shieldred out. So, we should win this. Shieldred, pretty badass. Next turn, I'll be able to attack with my Gudraz uh, Vampire. And I'll get something else back from the graveyard. something hidden up as sleeve, but I don't think so. For good measure, let's just activate Trample. Sweetheart, you lose. There we go, we won the old locker. Friday Night Magic. Yo, Friday Night Magic episode 4, I think. We made 4 episodes of this. Didn't exactly get off to a winning start, it was a loss and the win, so it's sort of like they cancelled each other out, if you know what I mean. Hopefully next episode, next week, we can actually score a couple of clean wins, maybe. Just win a couple of duels on the bounce. That'd be wondrous, wouldn't it? But I hope you enjoyed watching. Give the series a like if you like Friday Night Magic. And subscribe to Gamers UK, which is the only channel that you will see this series on. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.